Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you uh, today. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Taurus, let's see what's going on. How is Taurus coming to the reading? Oh, okay. Three of Swords and the Eight in the Strength card. So you could be experiencing a level of heartbreak or maybe you just divide it like in your mind, in your heart. There could have been some tears shed here about somebody or about a situation here. Maybe you got some real tough news or something is heartbreaking, but you're holding on, you're maintaining strength in this, in this regard. Like um, you're holding back. You're not trying to have a big emotional outburst. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm getting here. It's like you, maybe you got some enlightenment, especially you get some knowledge about something, about a relationship, but some, something here that has to, it moved you to a place of, you know, being emotional. Maybe between you and somebody there was miscommunication. Like somebody misrepresented themselves or you, or you misrepresented yourself. Therefore, it caused separation or uh, a breakdown in communication. It's like you're not hearing each other correctly. It's just like you're just interpreting. Maybe listening to us and assuming, but not really having clear conversation with the three of swords and the strength card. Let's see what this is about. What's this about? Yeah, the two of wands, maybe about um, options or uh, opposition. Like, you know, maybe making a decision here to either come to or go see or go to the next level or change or shift your, your life, your love relationship. It's like you want to come out of something that you've been doing for a long time and maybe go into something different. This is like two dynamics. So, and it talks about opposition. So if something is in opposition with another, then that means it's in, it's a, it's at war. It's in a fight. It's in direct contrary. Like you're, you can't have both because it, in the two of ones, it really talks about, um, one of these things is going to overpower the other. This could even be like deciding to come out of singlehood, go into commitment. Um, this could be someone who has two options of, you know, people, two girls, two guys, I don't know. Somebody's trying to hold back how hurt or disturbed they are here. This is also like that. This reads as paternity test and needing an expert to kind of come in and determine the paternity. Okay, that's another um, message there. You got another message. You could be dealing with a Gemini, uh, Virgo, anybody here, but it just looks like miscommunication because the magician is about speech, you know, language. So maybe what you were saying didn't line up with your actions or what you're saying or what you were professing. It just something about miscommunication and misalignment. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Four of pentacles. Uh, that's, is that your energy? All right, so it looks like this miscommunication between you and somebody, um, it allows, okay, so the miscommunication that you and someone have, you say things, this person interprets it one way, you interpret what they say another way, and then it causes for both of you to kind of hold back and pull back emotionally, like not really express your true feelings, okay? maybe have sex or fun with one another, but not express your feelings, right? When you both want to try to take this to the next level, but your words aren't kind of adding up to what you, your actions are. And it kind of stagnates the relationship. Like it, it, there's no growth. It just stuck here. 
you, you may be stuck doing the same thing over and over again or not being able to to move it forward not being able to get it to um long-term stability you got some stability here and the stability is um maybe doing the same thing over and again having fun having sex in and out uh, you know very spontaneous charismatic attractive um yeah giving each other maybe temporary pleasure attention the really wanting stability in a commitment it's like you both are committed to each other right now but you aren't saying it the actions don't line up with the words i like you i love you but i'm not really saying it i'm trying to show it but i'm not really it's very confusing um my shifty behavior is like it might sabotage this connection if you know you have that type of behavior don't do that because you're going to regret it as you see in the nine of swords you're going to regret that you're going to, you're going to think about it constantly don't do that um what is the advice for Taurus moving forward advice for Taurus. Yeah, five of swords sharpen your words um self-interest you might need to ju call judgment on yourself um what do you really want you know um are you in love do you want this to move forward is this your person is it just lust and desire or um can you actually build something here you have to, gonna have, have to ask yourself the real tough questions and be honest with yourself because it's like you can have what it is you say you want. You can go to the next level, but you might have to let go of some um, defeating actions, behavior. Like you, def you, you don't have what you want because of you. Self-interest, self-sabotage, saying things that you don't mean. The tough words that you say to people, whether it's friends or loved ones. You, nothing is long term with you everything is temporary in the short term maybe because of your words what you say you have to you gotta curb that you gotta kind of like you also need to be honest about your intentions like if you really want somebody if you want this person be honest it looks like it might be opportunity to at least explore it But um, it could be an Aquarius, second deacon Aquarius. So what it, that will be like um, January 23rd through the February like 5th or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. If you still want somebody, tell them. Um, but you got to learn how to govern your mouth. Nobody's going to deal with it. Not long term, they'll do with you short term. Okay. This is what I have for you. Um, and then some of you, it's your behavior. Your behavior, people just, it just reads as, oh, okay, it's temporary. It's short term. So um, for some of you, it's behavior. For some of you, it is your mouth. You, Taurus, you rule the fives in the Tarot. So this is your energy gonna have to kind of resolve that within you so that's what I have if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there uh, what else catch me live tonight Monday uh, come for the collective reading thank you many blessings to you